Hey everyone, it's Flackfire. It's time for another episode of Cool Details in Battlefield 5. Up to this point, we've covered a ton of neat stuff, ranging from bombing raids over Rotterdam to the spinning Jericho sirens on the German Stuka. If you want to check out all of the details we've uncovered so far, click the link here on the screen or in the video description. Maybe talk next time. First up, let's look at the new AA guns on the Pacific maps. The Bofors 40mm anti-aircraft gun was the iconic low-altitude air defense system of World War II. These saw service in Europe and the Pacific, where they were vital to protecting Allied navies from enemy attack. In Battlefield 5, they appear as the AA option for both factions, and you'll even find them on the LST. DICE actually uses a cool trick when it comes to ammunition for the gun. Historically, these weapons fired from four round clips that were rapidly loaded by the crew. It doesn't work this way in Battlefield 5, but devs found a way to mimic the look of the gun consuming ammunition. As you fire the Bofors, the shells appear to drop into the receiver. When you visually run out of ammunition, they pop back up. It's really the only way to get such an effect to work with a one-person emplacement in-game. In another nice touch, the spent shells pop out a chute at the bottom of the emplacement. Next, let's take a dive back into one of Battlefield 5's new maps, Pacific Storm. Based on the US landings in the Marshall Islands, this map features some picturesque landscapes, palm trees, and coral reefs teeming with life. In the last details video, I pointed out two cool creatures, the sea turtle and the black tip shark. It turns out there is another on the map, the majestic manta ray. This silent sea ravioli can be found gliding around the map and is a great addition to making the map feel more alive. Our third detail has to do with the Breda M1935 PG rifle. This weapon can fire a lethal four round burst or squeeze off accurate single shots, but some neat details are only visible with the battered weapon skin. This skin looks like it's been through the meat grinder a fair amount of times. The wood is cracked and parts of the stock are precariously held together with wire. The coolest detail, however, is the weapon's receiver. You can see the bolt cover has peeled back, exposing the moving parts inside. With this skin, you can actually see the bolt cycle, and that's something that you can't do with any of the other skins for the weapon. The battered skin for the Brita is rare in Battlefield 5, and it can be purchased with company coins if you're lucky enough to see it in the Armory store. If you can't find it, you'll just have to appreciate the fact that you can count the bullets through the Brita's huge magazine windows. Fourth is one you'll only see if you jump into Grand Operations or Rush. Fighting to plant explosives on an objective is one of the toughest tasks in Battlefield 5, but it can be just as hard to defuse an objective once a bomb has been planted. If you manage to dodge enemy fire and countless grenades to actually grab the device, you'll see your hand shakily move to cut the wire and render the explosive safe. Now, I absolutely love this detail because it reinforces the stress you're under to defend the objective. Everyone on your team is depending on you, you're being shot at from all directions, and that bomb could explode at any moment, so no pressure, right? Fifth are another couple details with the M1 Garand. In a previous video, I mentioned it's possible to get M1 thumb when you reload the gun, but there are a couple other things that flew under the radar for most people. Now, I saw a lot of comments complaining that DICE got the reload for the gun wrong. Typically, the M1 does not require an assist to kick the bolt forward. However, it does hang on occasion if it's in need of a good cleaning or parts were poorly manufactured. On this note, both an assisted and unassisted reload occur in Battlefield 5. Also, when ejecting a clip before it's empty, you can see your character press the clip release latch. Plus, if you watch the reload in slow motion, you can count the number of rounds in the clip. Similarly, if you load an incomplete clip, you can count the rounds in that as well. Next is something many people struggle with with a trip to the doctor. Needles. If you play as a medic in Battlefield 5, you probably revived countless of players and matches. 
At least that's what you should be doing. One of the things that always catches my eye is the way a character that's getting revived acts towards the needle. It never looks like a fun experience. They show so much emotion, and both fear and pain are palpable. Some look away from the needle, while others grimace. This isn't the only time characters react to things in Battlefield 5. They also wince and stumble when shot. Number 7 on the list is packed with detail. From boot prints on the inside of the car to the hood bouncing up and down when damaged, it's clear a lot of love went into Battlefield 5's Jeep 4x4. When a player sits in the passenger position, the windshield drops down to give them a clear field of fire. Meanwhile, the spare tire can also be blown off. These little things make the Jeep even more fun to use, whether that's going from point A to point B or taking a joyride at the enemy's expense. For number 8, let's check out some of the posters on Operation Underground. This map is set during the fall of Germany in 1945. A few things on the map sell that late war feel, including heavily destroyed buildings and the occasional bomber raid in the distance. Another thing that completes this desperate atmosphere are the propaganda posters. Propaganda was immensely important to the German war effort, and it made it difficult to break the Nazis' grasp on the country. Several posters dot the map with phrases like, Stand strong for your people and your land. Steel, concrete, and sweat. Industry is power. And, with your scrap, we will win. This kind of propaganda projected the idea of a unified country, but it only works if people buy into the idea. And that's a bit difficult to do while everything is crumbling around you. To change things up, number 9 is a neat audio detail. In World War II, the Vought F4U Corsair allegedly developed the nickname Whistling Death. Whether or not the Japanese actually used this term is questionable, but what's not up for debate is the sound that it makes in Battlefield 5. Just like its real-world counterpart, the Corsair in-game makes a whistling sound at high speed. It's most noticeable in dives, but you can also hear it on the ground. The Corsair owes its unique sound to the wing root air inlets linked to its slick, folding wing design. And lastly, sandbags are one of the many fortifications in Battlefield 5. These create solid defensive positions and provide a great place to deploy a bipod. Sandbags stop all but the most powerful rounds, and they can be destroyed with enough firepower. There is a bit of a hint to that in-game. If you shoot the sandbags, you might be surprised to see it leak sand after being shot. In a recent patch, DICE decrease the time it takes to build fortifications, so grab your hammer the next time you hit the battlefield and see it for yourself. Since you've made it this far, how about a couple more details? Another cool detail is the light refraction from vehicle engines in Battlefield 5. Aside from smoke pouring out during heavy acceleration, you can also see the effects of the heat on the air around the vehicle. This results in a wavy and distorted view. Of course, it's just a digital illusion, but it does make vehicles and tanks seem just a bit more believable. There are also a couple cool pre-round details on Iwo Jima's breakthrough mode. At the beginning of each round, you'll see Corsairs fly over the beach in formation and break off to bomb Mount Suribachi. You'll also hear a couple things as well. Sirens blare for the Japanese, while loudspeakers play a bugle call for the American forces landing on the beach. And fun fact here, it's actually the bugle call for General Quarters. Again, it's these little touches that help sell that epic invasion experience. Hopefully you've enjoyed these little details in Battlefield 5. Make sure to tell me your favorites down in the video description, and if you notice something else, tell me. If you want to check out more cool details in Battlefield 5, again, find that link in the video description. In the meantime, leave a like, share, and subscribe. Tap the bell for notifications on the latest Battlefield content, and make sure to follow on social media as well for updates and giveaway opportunities. Those links you'll find in the video description as well. As always, thanks for watching.